Now let's see how to use the listeners to align elements with the cursor. The first thing that we need to do is create two elements, one that'll receive the listener and another that will be aligned with the cursor. Let's create the element that's gonna receive the listener first. In this case, we're gonna create a square. And then we'll go ahead and use the alignment tools to center it. Now we're gonna make the element that's gonna align with the cursor. In this case, we're gonna create a small circle. We'll also change the fill so that we can distinguish it from the background. Once again, use the alignment tools to center it. Now that we're in animate mode, let's work with the listeners panel. Remember, there's two ways to create a listener. One of them is to select the element and then click on the plus button. This process automatically sets a target. In this case, it's a rectangle. Now let's delete this listener and create it another way. This time, we won't have anything selected and we can hit the plus button and you'll notice that we have a listener one that doesn't have a target. In this case, we need to click on the target button and then select the rectangle. Now we said that we wanna align an object with the cursor. So instead of a set input, we're gonna use an align target. Now you'll see that we have an option appear to align a target. And we also have the select input option, which we can get rid of by either right clicking on it or we can hold the Alt key and that'll bring up the X button and we can use that to delete it as well. Now we can use any of these listener types that we want to cause this target to align, but instead of using the pointer enter, let's use pointer move. And we can also now select our target uh, for what we want to align. So we can click on the target button and select our blue ellipse. Now, if we press play on our state machine, you'll see that while our mouse is moving inside of the square, that blue ellipse is moving along with it. But when we move outside of the square, the ellipse stays in the same spot. Now, let's go ahead and stop the state machine. And as I said before, we can use any type of listener uh, that we want to cause this interaction. So maybe instead of pointer move, let's have this object reposition whenever we uh, mouse down. So let's go into here and select the pointer down option and start the state machine again. And now you'll notice that anytime we click within the rectangle, our ellipse repositions and aligns with the target. Now, remember, we don't have to have visible objects for the listeners to work. So we can actually turn off the visibility of this rectangle um, and now when we start the state machine, you'll see that it still works inside of that. So essentially we've created a hitbox that our align um, target will work within. There's a ton of different use cases for the align target. For example, we could use a constraint with bones to make a 3D rig for a face.